and on here we're displaying CO2, uh, methane, as well as CO and water. This Cessna 402B is packed with instruments that measure heat trapping greenhouse gases. We're looking for signatures coming off of uh, power plants and also urban plumes. Hannah Daly is a graduate student at the University of Maryland who conducts part of her research in the friendly skies, monitoring instrumentation and analyzing real-time data. When we're flying, I'll notice a trend like this and say, wow, that was interesting. Maybe we should fly back and look at it. Hannah and her colleagues are tracking greenhouse gas fluxes through plumes from power plants, landfills, wastewater treatment facilities, and wetlands, all of which contain methane. Black carbon is another important air quality metric they're monitoring. You don't want it to be too high. It could cause issues with your breathing as well as your life expectancy. Too far away from DC. Jin Rong Ren, a physical scientist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, emphasizes the importance of a better understanding on the air pollution impacts on people, animals, and plants. We do some calculation on the uh, air quality as well greenhouse gas emissions, and those data will be provided to the uh, state and federal agencies. Collecting critical greenhouse gas and air pollution data from the air is only part of the equation. When that monitoring equipment isn't being used inside the plane, it's moved inside this mobile lab, referred to as NOAA's Ark. It got its name coming from NOAA's Air Resources Lab. This is NOAA's Air Resource Car. Jin Rong and Phil take to the road two to three times a week during various weather conditions and seasons to survey areas around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. What we're doing with this is driving around taking hyper-local observations of meteorological parameters and different concentrations of greenhouse gases and atmospheric pollutants. After conducting quality control on their research, the findings become available to the public and plugged into important climate modeling. We'll use it to evaluate some of the model output that's been generated to drive some of the previous policy to make sure we're on track and not just implementing policy that has no scientific backing. These mobile surveys are expected to continue for another five to ten years and plans are being made to extend this project to New York City and the Marcellus Shale area in Pennsylvania, which are both hot spots with significant methane emissions from natural gas operations.